Hello everyone, I am Ashwati S. from 2013 batch of Indian Administrative Service. I belong to the Karnataka cadre of IAS and currently I am posted as Deputy Commissioner of Mandya District. After phase 2, my batch was posted to Delhi initially because starting from our batch, it was introduced that before the officer trainees are sent to their respective cadres, at least 3 to 4 months of central posting should be compulsorily given. So this was primarily done with the idea of giving us an insight about how the government works, how the central government works. So I was posted as assistant secretary in information broadcasting ministry. Uh, it was just for 3 months. After that, I came to Karnataka cadre, I reported to my cadre. And my first posting here was as uh, SDM, Subdivisional Magistrate or Assistant Commissioner in Kundapur, Udupi district. I was there for almost one year. So this was my first actual field level posting. So back then I think uh, my initial challenge was the local, handling the local language. So from academy I was already given training in the language and it was, I could read and write in the language. But speaking fluently in the local language was a little difficult during the initial few months. So that was my initial challenge. But uh, my deputy commissioner was Mr. Vishal Sir IS, who is a very dynamic officer. So Mr. Vishal Sir has uh, given me a lot of instructions and he's given me a lot of guidance throughout my first posting. And I think one of the uh, another challenge that I faced there was uh, we had a lot of issues related to illegal sand mining. So we used to do a lot of raids and seize the boats and seize the trucks and we had taken a lot of action with regard to this illegal sand mining. So it was uh, only for one year. So during the one year, my major challenge was this initial period, it was the language problem and later we did a lot of work tackling the illegal sand mining. So these were the major things which I remember from my Udupi days or my Kundapu days. After that, I worked in Davangere for almost two and a half years as a CEO Jilla Panjayat. Now, when you become a CEO Jilla Panjayat from an AC, after AC you get promoted and then you are made a CEO Jilla Panjayat. So this is your first major posting as a district level officer. And also the CEO Jilla Panjayat in Karnataka, they handle a lot of developmental works. All the major line departments report to a CEO Jilla Panjayat and you get the opportunity to do a lot of developmental works in the district. And also before becoming a collector or a deputy commissioner, the CEO Jilla Panjayat is actually the role where they equip you or where they train you, where you actually learn how to deal with district level issues and how to do man management and a lot of things. So I was there in uh, Davangere for almost two and a half years as CEO Jilla Panjayat and it's one of my uh, most memorable tenure.